I'm privileged to, to be able to come and film with uh, Paddy and Spirit as they have their enjoy their breakfast this morning here at Jarrah Hall in this sun this very very snowy day um, these are Shetland ponies so they're not bothered by the cold they've got very very thick beautiful beautiful thick fur uh, a double coat as it happens now um, Shetland ponies are from Shetland and uh, a native to that area but horses if they're left to their own devices to live wild or or a semi semi wild existence do tend to revert to type if you're not um, selective breeding and giving them extra food so horses in the British Isles do tend to be quite small um, and stocky and have nice thick coats to withstand our weather now horses that we are big enough to be ridden um, in Saxon days would have been quite rare to take specialist breeding and sometimes they might have been actually imported by people who knew how to take care of them and they would have taken a lot of care particularly over the winter months when they weren't able to to find enough enough fodder for themselves so horses in Anglo-Saxon times were definitely a, a high prestige animal uh, they certainly wouldn't have been kept as as farm animals or even for, as beasts of burden cattle would have been more used for that because cattle you can use them for lots and lots of other different things as well. Now horses even back in the day as today need specialist care and can be quite vulnerable so you need to take a, they take a lot of resources to, to keep horses and um, we have Sp pa Paddy and Spirit here. Paddy's the slightly larger of the two. Now you might see if I can get in here a, bit, a little bit closer. Hello Paddy. Have you seen his beautiful eyes? Paddy has odd coloured eyes, but like David Bowie. So one's like an icy blue colour and the other one is a beautiful dark brown. And Spirit is here, has a, is just a little bit smaller and is so cute, but very, very, very bitey. Now we ask people not to feed our ponies and we would also remind you if you see other people's horses in fields when you're out walking, please don't feed them either there's been so many horses that have taken very ill and it's and unfortunately sometimes it can kill them if you feed them food that they that they haven't been um hasn't been checked carefully chosen for them um horses aren't una are unable to vomit so if they get poorly tummies there's nothing that can actually do about it um so they require specialist care as anybody who keeps horses will know now fortunately our farm team um, are very keen on horses and have lots and lots of knowledge and some of them actually keep horses of their own outside of work uh, anyway this is our paddy and spirit and a little bit about anglo-saxon horses